here is the current NFL playoff picture for 2023. We are sitting at the fourth seed leading our division, and no other division teams are even in the playoffs. So I think the way we're playing, we're going to win the division, so we will have a tick in the playoffs. Uh, we, as you know, we lost last year in round one, the wild card with the Dolphins, by one point to the Houston Texans. Oh, the Chargers are the seventh seed. I like to see that. Um, but currently sitting at number four, we'd be facing the Jaguars if it started today. But it does not start today because we are going up against the New York football Giants, who are seven and five. Uh, looking at the teams in our division, which you can't look at actual standings for some reason. The Dolphins are four and seven, our former team. Patriots are five and six, and the Jets are two and nine. So the only team competing with us are really the Patriots, who are two games behind us. And I believe we've already beaten them. We beat them once. I don't know if we beat them the second time. I can check right now, though. Uh, so we beat them once, 56-10. to 10, And we lost the second time. So we actually split the season series. So it would come down to division or conference record if there were to be a tiebreaker, which I don't. there really shouldn't be. Also, on the right, you can see the league leaders. Obviously, I'm leading the league in rushing yards. Um, and Von Miller is number three in sacks. But this is that is what the league is looking like. I believe the best team are the Chiefs and the Eagles. Looking at actually, I can just literally just look at the playoff picture. I believe it was the Chiefs and the Eagles. Yes, it is. But we're going up against the Giants, who are also in the playoff picture. Another playoff team we are going up against. We beat the Washington Commanders last game. You know, I'm going to start looking at these teams before we play them, because as you know, most of these teams are different in face of the franchise. And the Giants are led by Trevor Lawrence, who literally should be on the Jaguars due to his contract, but his face of the franchise. Still got Leonard Williams. I don't know if Gardner Johnson's on the team. He might be. Byron Murphy, Adoree Jackson, Kenny Galladay still there. Evan Neal. They picked up James Conner to... Saquon's not there. Interesting. Interesting. Wide receiver situation is still the same, but this is what this Giants team is looking like. Very, very nice. Kayvon Thibodeau's already in 83 overall. Makes sense why the 75, they have a true quarterback now, but... Let's hop into this game and see if I can get our eighth win of the year. All right, the Giants go on a three and out on their first possession and a really good uh, punt return from us as they set us up on our own 35 as I'm going to get a solid seven-yard game. And if you watched last episode, don't let those stats fool you. I was off to an extremely, extremely slow start in that game. I think I had 13 attempts for like 17 yards at one point. Wasn't going well, but a few big runs string together in the third quarter was enough to pull us out to the victory and as you know it's already a theme josh allen is complete dog water making terrible throws through an interception but we did end up coming out with the win and um i also explained in that video that i um up the quarter length to a uh, nine minutes now so if when we do go down by eventually 50 points like we do for some reason every year at least once a game they have a chance to somewhat try and come back also, I had my career-high receiving yards last game with 105 as I lose yardage there and damage Josh Allen's stats. Uh, let's see what he can do on this play-action play. This is the same play we had last game where he absolutely missed Khalil Shakur and Kayvon Thibodeau is going to take him down, and that's a 3 and out. And the Giants come down, and they score the ball 7 nothing to start off. See what we can do. Big run here for C.J. Lewis. He does not truck that man. I thought he was going to. But big run there, getting us the first down. Four rushes, 30 yards already. Did not break a tackle. I need to break four. Okay. Josh, I do this every every game, bro. Every game, and you re you rarely even pass it to them. But at least pass it to Gabe Davis. No. All right. You know what? Smart pass. I'm guessing they were covered. Khalil Stiker gets the first down. Gain of about, I think that was 17, 18 yards. Get the first down, 16 yards. For, okay, they are pressing up. I am not going to allow that to happen. And this is what we're going to do. Give it. Oh, Josh Allen. Stefan Diggs wide open. And he's going to get to the one-yard line. I did not see him wide open. Good look from Josh Allen. Not the greatest pass, but definitely a great look. They are stacking the line. But I trust C.J. Lewis to get into this end zone. Or not. Or not. Not at all. Okay, they completely killed me there. Who was supposed to block number 90? Whose job was it to block him? Because you failed miserably. They want me, I can't even switch it either. They want me running to the left. I should be running to the right, but it doesn't matter. I'm in the end zone. 
Touchdown, Bills. We tie it up just like that. Already getting a rushing touchdown in the first quarter. All right, we got third and 10 here. Giants didn't score on the last possession. We made it all the way down to our own 23. We were backed up. I was going to say bad pass, but I'm, oh, I ju I'm just short of the first down, and we're going to have to turn it over. Giants come down. They scored a field goal, and I have yet to break a single tackle, which is very surprising to me. Can I break this one off? Nope. Okay, I get absolutely drilled. Come on, man. I need to break three tackles. That should be an easy goal for the game. But I've yet to break one. Which, I guess, it, please. Okay, I think that counts as a broken tackle. That, that should. If it doesn't, we got issues here. Uh, does it show me my goals? It really does. No, it show me my goals, at least. Oh, we got 37 now. So, Josh Allen? I, I'm going to be honest with you. I was about to say that was a terrible pass. I didn't know who he was throwing it to. I thought he was throwing it to the other receiver, but Stefan Diggs with our reception. All right, Josh, have this be your redemption game. Okay, two-minute warning. Didn't even notice the clock. Now that I noticed the clock, uh, I guess we'll play with more urgency and pass the ball. Right here, Josh, I'm wide open. That's, that's an easy first down. Keep it going. I'm not going to call any timeouts. That'd be stupid. And now I'm probably going to run the ball a little bit, knowing that we are basically going to be in field goal range. RPO. Kayvon Thibodeau is going to get right into the backfield. And this Giants defense is now trying to... Not trying. They have figured out the run. So we're going to go back to the passing game. And I'm going to be open. Josh, I'm going... That should... I don't think it's going to count as broken tackle anyways. Third and six. Minute ten. Don't call a timeout. Just keep it going. Keep her going. See what we can do. Don't know what that lineman's doing on the left. That's Kayvon Thibodeau. And right here, Josh. That's an easy first down for us. Uh, probably should be running a little bit. Hurry up, I'd imagine. About 37 seconds left. Oh, the defense is confused. The defense is confused. Nice pass. Josh Allen. Is he out of bounds? He is not. I'm calling a timeout. Second and one. 28 seconds to get a possible touchdown. It'd be very nice. They keep giving me the same exact play. I'm going to send Gabe Davis on a streak and hope for the best. Right here. Oh, no, Stefan Diggs, middle of the field, touchdown, Bills, Josh Allen is slinging dots in this game, and on top of that, we get the ball to start off the second half, Josh Allen's having himself a hell of a game, I need a rush for 35 yards on this possession, don't know if it's going to happen, because they've been, kind of been stuffing me a little, okay, really going to press up, really going to press up here, I might not even get any yards here, no, I do, I do. I break that tackle. Whoever number 30 is, but I immediately get stopped. Third and three. I'm going to run it. This could be a first down. If we can have hold the blocks, this is a first down. And we do not do that at all. And just like that, the Giants come down and score a touchdown. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am going nowhere now with this run game. They have completely stuffed me the past near 10 attempts. I have gone for like two yards. So the Giants are figuring out. Quick little dump out to the running back. To CJ Lewis. He's going to go for extra yardage. I'm not sure. Is Josh Allen throwing an incompletion this game? I don't need to see the replay. I, I I was controlling him. Madden. I don't need to see it. I'm not sure if Josh Allen has an incompletion so far this game. Six catches. 46 yards. Acting like a dual threat. And I'm gone. Not going to be a touchdown. But a huge run for C.J. Lewis, much needed after that dry spell. Third and five, and I was correct. Josh Allen does not have a single incompletion so far. And now that I said that, he's probably going to have one right here. Oh, no. Okay, Khalil Shakur with the first down. Easy. 13 for 13. 166 yards and a touchdown for Sir Joshua. Uh, you know what? This game, you, you're good for the Josh. You can be called Josh this game. Just don't make me regret it. Don't make me regret it, Josh. Ooh, I got the block. I got the block, Josh. You better complete this. Nice pass. Great catch. I got... I'm getting better with the blocking. What a block on number 90. If not, that was going to be a sack on Josh Allen. And things would have been very bad. Run the ball here. Number 60. Good block. But whoever was guarding 97 could not hold their own. Second and six. Josh, we're going to go with another pass. I'm hoping I can get open here. And I kind of do. He overthrew me. Oh, there's his first incompletion. Third and six. And I'm going to have 
a questionable decision on running the ball. Very questionable. If 71 can get his block, it's not questionable at all. Touchdown, Bills. We get the lead right back. And obviously, yeah, the crowd ain't going to like that very much. Going up by four points. And our defense seems to be slowly falling apart here. As the Giants score once again. Not great. Not great look for our defense. But we're going to run into the fourth quarter. Down three. Every time we score, they score. Uh, third and nine here. Offensive line has fallen apart on this possession. I only got one big run other than that. They've just been destroying our O-line. That's a first down. C.J. Lewis. And why are you guys celebrating? <laughs> why are you guys celebrating? We just got a first down just like that. And you all just high-fiving like you did something. I, if, I, if I was the coach of that team, I'd slap someone up. All right, I'm going to run. Oh, my God, bro. We are just not doing anything, bro. Lennon Williams just bullied our offensive line. He just bullied a grown-ass man. How, how do you allow that to happen? You have a family, and you allowed that to happen. That That's shameful. Up the middle to me. Easy. Not going to get the first down, but we get a third and one. Josh Allen's having himself a hell of a game because he's throwing to me and Stephon Diggs. Really, all you got to do, let's see if we can get the first down here. Should be a gimme, but it's Madden, so... And the way our old line's playing right now, it's never a gimme. And we get it just barely four-yard gain, first and ten. All right, we got first and goal. I was going to run, but I see Stephon Diggs pressed up there. He's not going to get it to him, so you know what? Just give it to me. Quick little dump out. We'll get a little bit of three yards there. I'll take it. Second and goal here. I'm gonna. I'm definitely running this one. I'm not. Nope. Not letting that one happen. Run it up the middle, CJ. We don't get the blocks though. That's the. We can't. We can't lead this possession without a touchdown. We need a touchdown in this possession. We made it all the way down to the five. We cannot walk away with a field goal. Right here. Aggressive catch and CJ Lewis third touchdown of the game. What a catch. Or the lead right back. We just need our defense to handle their business. What a catch. I thought that was definitely an incompletion. But Josh Allen placed it in the perfect spot. Back in the lead. And just when it looked like our defense was about to fall apart. During that super sim. We hold out. And we get the third down stop. And we're going to two minute warning. Just like the commanders game run out the clock as much as possible as long as we can convert on that third down we'll be chilling that's all we need to do run out the clock pick up another close victory and we'll be good and throw this this run blocking in good so we got now a 39 let's see what can happen here i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with the play stick with the play call right up here josh right up here josh that should be a oh that's close and it's a first down right on the line. C.J. Lewis comes up clutch once again. Another 100 receiving yard, 100 rushing yard game. His second of the year. And that is going to do it for this one. All right, maybe that's not going to do it for this one because I was wide open. Josh Allen just overthrew me. And they have a minute 23. No timeouts. But they have plenty of time. I'm, I'm going to normal. Going to normal speed, 35-yard punt, 3-yard rush, 45 seconds, 18 seconds, 3rd and 2. That's it. That's game. We sneak out of it with the win. They got close to the red zone, almost had it, but we're going to win another close one. Back-to-back -back wins, 8-4 and four on the year. The Patriots lost, so they can punch our ticket to the playoffs. Final stats on the game. Trevor Lawrence played himself a hell of a game. 24 for 34, 300 yards and a touchdown. Josh Allen finally had an efficient game. 20 for 22, 241 and two touchdowns on the day. Good for him. Rushing wise, another 33 attempt game. 127 yards, only four um, yards to carry because they kind of had me locked down in that second half with two rushing yards. Receiving wise, to Tony, Tony, is it Tony? I think it's Tony. Had the most receiving yards in the game. The CG Lewis right behind him. 12 receptions most in the game. 105 yards and a touchdown. Stephon Diggs right behind him with 83. But that's going to be it. We move to 8-4 on the year. That's going to be for me. GG.